Hi, I'm Nicole, one of Spark People's fitness experts. Today I'm going to lead you through a very short core workout. We're going to be working the abs, obliques, hips, and the lower back in one short workout. You don't need to do a warm up before this one. We're going to warm up the core as we get started. All you will need is your own body weight, and you'll probably want a mat just for extra cushioning, but no other equipment is necessary. All right, let's get started. We're going to come down into your regular crunch position. Feet are flat, knees bent at about 45 degrees. Line it down all the way back. You can place those hands wherever you're comfortable for working here. At the sides, across the chest, or supporting the head and neck behind you. Make sure those abs are engaged. Lower back should be completely flat, pushed down into the mat underneath you. This is going to be the case for every exercise we do today. Really be conscious of that. So we're going to start with a four count crunch. We're going to lift up for three counts and lower down for one, nice and slow as we get warmed up here. You're going to exhale, go up for one, two, three, and lower it down on one. Make sure those abs are pulled in tight. That belly button should be pulled in towards the spine the whole time. And slowly releasing it down. Just take this at your own pace. We're trying to reach a little bit higher each time we go up. Breathing steady. Those hands are just there to support your head and neck, not to help you lift. Really think about the abs doing the work here. Nice steady breath. Push that lower back nice and flat into that mat underneath you. And one more like this. Exhale up for three. And lower it down for one. We're moving into regular full range of motion crunches now. Exhale, lift it up on one. Inhale, release it down. Just speeding up that movement we just did instead of taking that slow three counts. Abs pulled in tight. Again, you can take those hands across your chest at any point. You can even reach them down at your sides, reaching for those heels. Make sure you're breathing steady, staying in control with those abs. One more time up and slowly release it down. Next variation of a crunch is called a circle crunch. Wherever you want to place those hands, you're going to circle the torso up one direction in a circle, back down, and then switch sides over to the other. So you're just thinking about reaching up and around, bringing those shoulder blades up off the mat underneath you, exhaling as you lift, inhaling as you lower it down. Remember, you can also cross the hands at the chest. Still be conscious of placing that lower back flat on the mat underneath you. Let's do two more of these. Keep breathing steady. And release it down, taking those hands up behind the head and neck this time. Here we're going to crunch it up, then sweep down the side for the heel, take it back up and over, then switch it up to the right. Swoop up. Breathing steady. You're always exhaling as you're exerting yourself, and that's as you lift those shoulder blades up on crunches should really feel those obliques working now right there on the sides of the waist. Really reach that hand out towards the heel, even touching it if you can. Try to keep that spine neutral, head and neck right there in line with it. Let's do two more of those. One more to the left. And one more to the right side and release it down. Moving into a bicycle crunch from here. You're going to bring opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee as you bring it in. Other leg extends and then switch sides. So your shoulder blades are staying up off of that mat the whole time. Lower back is pushed flat down into it. Just rotating sides. Instead of thinking about the elbow reaching for the knee, really try to think about getting your shoulder as close to your knee as you can. That way you'll work a lot harder. Always exhale as you twist to the side. And do a couple more slow ones like this, then if you can, we're going to try to speed it up for a really quick set. Here we go, taking it faster. Make sure you're breathing steady. Kicking those legs straight out in four, three, two, last one, and slowly release it down. Relax those abs for a minute, give them a rest. Pull the abs in tight, belly button down towards the floor back flat on your mat. We're going to take our arms out to the sides for support here, lifting up those feet off the floor. From here we're doing a small reverse crunch, just tilting the knees into the chest and releasing it back out. Think here about hinging from the hips. 
Your legs are gonna stay in that same 90 degree bend the whole time. Just bringing the knees in towards the chest and back out. It's a very small and controlled movement. Should feel those abs working here. Staying in control to help your legs move in and out slowly. Exhaling as the knees comes in. Inhaling as you push it out. Let's do a couple more. Last one. And bring those knees back up to that starting position. We're gonna add on to this one now. Hands out to the side for support. Really push that lower back flat. Pulling the knees all the way into the chest. You're gonna extend them up into the air. Slight bend at the knee. And then slowly lower the feet down towards the floor. Let those heels touch. Then bring it in. Make sure you're breathing steady throughout this movement. Let those hands support you at the side. And this is a hard one to try to keep that lower back flat into your mat, but that's important. So if you need to, place those hands right underneath the small of your back for additional support if you're having trouble keeping it flat. Four more here. Pulling those abs in nice and tight. This is two. And one more time in. Up and slowly lower those legs all the way down. Leave those legs extended. Let's stretch out really quick. We're gonna take those arms up overhead. Inhale, think about reaching those hands and feet to opposite walls. You should feel those abs relax and stretch. Release that one more time. Inhale, reach. And now we're gonna hug the knees into the chest and rock up to a seated position. One more quick stretch before we move on to one last set of exercises. Let's take that right knee into the chest, grip that left arm around it and twist to the side, sitting up nice and tall. Should feel the stretch through those obliques. Breathing steady. And go ahead and switch sides. Release that leg, hugging the left side in, wrap the arm around, go ahead and twist, shoulders down and back. And release that down. We're gonna move into one last set of exercises, couple variations of the plank, and then one for the lower back. So, on plank exercises, there are always three different levels you can work out, depending on your fitness level. Level one is always on your knees. That's a little bit less intense. Level two is just gonna be on your toes, and level three will be with a straight arm. So I'm gonna demonstrate the one that's right in the middle. So we're gonna start with a regular plank elbow directly underneath the shoulder the whole time. Those toes should be all the way out. You're pulling your abs in nice and tight and we're gonna pull our bodies up off the ground, balancing between the toes and the elbows. So, let's get ready to go. Take a deep breath, pulling the abs in, lift those legs up off the floor. So remember, you can be at level one here on your knees, you can be at level two on your toes, or you can be at level three with the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Notice how the body is in a straight line from the shoulders all the way down to the toes, no matter what level you're working at. Hips shouldn't be lifted or drooping down to the floor. Use those abs to keep it up nice and tall, breathing steady the whole time. Let's hold this one up for a few more counts. Take a break if you need it. Just try to come back. In four, three, two, go ahead and drop the knees back down. Let's move into a side plank now. Again, I'm gonna show the one, elbow, this is the intermediate level, elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Your legs are gonna extend out all the way, knees will be the easiest level, staggered feet will be easier, stacking the feet is the hardest one. So I'm gonna start with a staggered foot, balancing between the elbow and the feet. Exhale, lift it up. Think about reaching this top hip up towards the ceiling, trying to keep your body off of the mat, breathing steady. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Stacking the feet adds intensity. Dropping down to the knees makes it easier. Let's hold this one for a few more counts. Keep breathing. In four, three, two, drop those hips. We're gonna finish on this side with a couple hip lifts. Any level you wanna work out with those knees and feet, you're gonna exhale, lift the hips, inhale, lower it down. You're lifting right up into that side plank and lowering down for a rest. Rest that hip on the mat as long as you need to. Three more here, keep breathing. Here's two. Last one, and slowly drop it down. We need to switch that one over to the opposite side. 
starting with just the plank hold. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder, stacked feet, staggered feet, or on your knees. When you're ready, exhale, lift it up and hold. Breathing steady, abs in tight. Think about reaching those hips up away from the floor. Remember, stacking the feet adds intensity. Dropping down to the knees is the easiest level. Let's hold this one a few more counts. Breathing in four, three, two. Go ahead and drop it down, finishing up with those hip lifts. Exhale, lift it up into that plank. Inhale, slowly lower. Think about using those muscles along the sides of your torso to work here. <sighs> Taking your feet and legs at any level to modify it to fit your needs. Here's two. One more time up and slowly drop it down. We're gonna finish up today with a quick lower back exercise. The lower back is also part of the core. Should always be worked every time you work the abs. So, lying down on your stomach on your mat. Extending your arms and legs all the way out. Head and neck should be right there in line with the spine. This one's called swimming. We're gonna start nice and slow, lifting opposite arm and leg up and slowly lowering it down. Switch sides. This doesn't have to be a very big movement. Only take it up as high as you're comfortable. You should feel that lower back working here but you shouldn't feel pain in your lower back. You can modify this by doing just one of the two. You're lifting just the arm or just the leg. Taking a smaller range of motion if you need to. And you can also rest those hands and legs down on the floor as long as you need to in between repetitions. Let's do four more here. Here's two. Last one, let's switch sides one more time. We're gonna hold up that arm and leg, breathing steady. As high as you can lift them. Feel that lower back work. And now see if you can pulse it up a little higher. Exhaling as you lift. Four, three, two, last one. Let's switch sides, opposite arm and leg up and hold steady. Keep that head and neck down, right there in line with the spine. And pulsing it up for eight. Here's four, three, two, last one. All right, we're done with our strengthening exercises, ready to finish off with some stretches. Let's place those hands right here next to the sides of the ribs. We're gonna lift that torso up off the mat just as high as you can go comfortably. If you can extend those arms all the way up and you have the flexibility for that, you can do that. Or placing the forearms down on the floor is a modified version of this stretch. Should feel that stretch through the abs. Make sure you're breathing steady, taking deep breaths in and out. From here, let's push our weight up into our hands and knees. And then we're gonna lean all the way back into those heels, extend those arms forward, let the head and neck drop down and relax. Should feel the stretch more through your back and a little bit more in your shoulders. I'm gonna take this left hand, walk it over on top of the right. Now you should feel the stretch more through that entire side of the body and bring it back out to center, right arm over to the left. And back to center, let's bring it back up on hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. We're gonna round that back up towards the ceiling, scooping out that belly. And now to the opposite of that stretch, bringing the belly down towards the mat, arching the back and looking up. Let's do that one one more time, make sure you're breathing. Round that back up, relax the head and neck down. Now just the opposite. And chest towards the floor as you look up. And you can go ahead and come back up to a seated position. We're done with our core workout. For more exercise demos and videos, you can visit sparkpeople.com.